Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a case study based question from areas related to circles chapter, which had appeared in CBSC board exam 2025. Now, this question has three sub questions. The first and second sub questions are for one mark, and the third sub question is of two marks, and it has an OR question as well. That is, either you can attempt the A question or the B one. So, let us start with the first question now. The Olympic symbol comprising five interlocking rings represents the union of the five continents of the world and the meeting of athletes from all over the world at the Olympic Games. In order to spread awareness about Olympic Games, students of class 10 took part in various activities organized by the school. One such group of students made five circular rings in the school lawn with the help of ropes. Each circular ring required 44 meters of rope. Also, in the shaded regions, as shown in the figure, students made rangoli, showcasing various sports and games. It is given that triangle OAB is an equilateral triangle and all of the unshaded regions are congruent. Based on the above information, answer the following questions. Find the radius of each circular ring. Now, let us try to understand the question first. Now, here some information about the Olympic Games are given. How the Olympic symbol comprising of five interlocked rings represents the five continents of the world and meeting of the athletes from all over the world during the Olympic Games. So, to spread awareness about these games, class 10 students took part in various activities organized at school. So, one such group of students made five circular rings. So, we can see they have made five circular rings over here with the help of ropes. So, this ring is made up of rope, this ring is made up of rope and so on. So, to make this ring, they needed 44 meters. Now, to make this ring, they needed 44 meters and so on. And then, in the shaded regions as they have shown over here, students made rangoli of various sports and games that happen in Olympics. Now, it is given that the triangle, as we can see, which is being formed over here, is an equilateral triangle and all the unshaded regions, which are these small regions, are congruent. Congruent means they are same. Based on this information, the first question is, we need to find out the radius of each circular ring. Now here, all the circular rings are same. So if we get the radius of one ring, it represents the radius of all the rings. Now since it is given that, each circular ring required 44 meters of rope. This means that the circumference of the circle is 44 because to make this ring, they have used 44 meters of rope. That is circumference or perimeter of the circle is 44. So here let us use the circumference of a circle formula and it is given as 2 pi r where r represents the radius of the circle and that is what we are supposed to find over here. And circumference of each rope used to make the ring is 44. So we have written 44 is equal to 2 times pi is considered as 22 over 7 times the radius. Now here 2 times 22 gives us 44. So this 2 and this 22 is 44. So 44 from this side divides 44 from the other side of the equal to sign. That is 44 1 times is 44 and 44 1 times is 44. And this 7 goes on the other side of equal to sign and multiplies with 1 giving us the radius as 7 meters. So this is the radius of each circular ring that is 7 meters. What is the measure of angle AOB? Now in the question it was given that the triangle OAB is an equilateral triangle and all the angles of an equilateral triangle are 60 degrees. So here angle A, angle B and angle O each becomes 60 degrees. So here the measure of angle AOB is 60 degrees since triangle OAB was given as an equilateral triangle. This is our answer. Find the area of shaded region R1. So this is R1 of the circle and we need to find out the area of the shaded region. So let me redraw this circle over here for easy reference. Now this is the single circle we have considered over here. The shaded region is R1. Now OAB is a sector and since the triangle OAB was given as an equilateral triangle, we have marked 60 degrees at point O. So AOB becomes 60 degrees. Now to find out the area of the shaded region R1, we have to consider the area of the circle 
and subtract the area of these two segments over here which I have shaded in red. So here we have written area of shaded region R1 is equal to area of the entire circle minus 2 times the area of the segment. This is the first segment and this is the second segment. Now we can find out the area of the circle by using the formula pi r square because radius we had got it as 7. Now let us first try to find out the area of the segment. Now for this we are going to make use of the formula area of the sector OABO is equal to now this entire sector is made up of two shapes. The first shape is the area of triangle AOB plus area of the segment AB. Now since we are trying to find out the area of the segment, let us take this area of the triangle on the other side of equal to sign. So this formula becomes area of segment AB is equal to area of sector OABO minus area of triangle AOB. Now we have the formula for area of sector as theta over 360 degrees times pi r square where theta represents the central angle of the sector and r represents the radius. Now here theta is going to be 60 degrees as angle AOB is 60. This is the central angle of the sector and the radius we had got it as 7 meters. So here substituting the respective values we get 60 over 360 times pi is 22 over 7 times 7 times 7. Now let us simplify these fractions. So here 60 divides 360 that is 61 times is 60 and 66 times is 360. Now this 7 divides other 7 that is 7 1 times is 7 and 7 1 times is 7. Now for the simplifying this 6 and 22 go in the table of 2. So 2 3 times is 6 and 2 11 times is 22. So here we have written 1 over 3 times 11 times 7. Now let us multiply the numerators. So 1 times 11 times 7 gives us 77 over 3 meters square. So this is the area of the sector. Now to find out the area of equilateral triangle AOB, we have the formula over here as square root of 3 over 4 times side square. Now square root of 3 over 4 stays the same times. Now over here for the triangle, OA, AB and OB will be 7 meters because this is an equilateral triangle and the radius we had got it as 7. So here we have written in place of side square, 7 square is equal to, now 7 square gives us 49 times square root of 3 over 4. So this is the area of the equilateral triangle AOB. Now once we have got the area of the sector and area of the triangle, we are going to find out the area of the segment. So here we have written area of the segment AB was equal to area of sector minus area of triangle. So area of sector we have got it as 77 over 3 minus area of triangle is 49 square root of 3 over 4. But here we are supposed to find out the area of the shaded region which we had got it as area of the shaded region as area of circle minus 2 times area of segment. So in place of area of circle we have written the formula pi r square minus 2 times area of the segment AB was 77 over 3 minus 49 root 3 over 4. Now substituting the values over here we get pi as 22 over 7 times 7 times 7 minus this term stays the same. Now here 7 from the denominator divides 7 from the numerator and 22 times 7 gives us 154 minus 2 times 77 is 154 over 3. Now minus of minus gives us plus. So 2 times 49 root 3 over 4. Now in the next step we have taken 154 as a common factor out. So we can see we have written 154 times 1 minus 1 over 3 plus now here 2 divides 4 that is 2 1 times and 2 2 times giving us 49 root 3 over 2. Now let us take a common denominator over here. So 1 can be written as 1 over 1. So here we are going to multiply 1 by 3 and 1 by 3 giving us 3 minus 1 as 2. So 154 multiplies with 2 giving us 308 over a common denominator 3 plus 49 root 3 over 2. So this is the area of the shaded region R1. So you can keep the answer as it is. So this is our final answer. Find the length of rope 
around the unshaded regions. So these are the unshaded regions over here and each unshaded region is made up of two segments. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So if we find out the length of the rope of one of the segment, that will be equal to the length of the ropes of the remaining unshaded regions. So here we have taken one single ring for easy reference and the central angle of the sector was 60 degrees. Now since the length of the rope is asked, we are going to make use of length of an arc formula given as theta over 360 times 2 pi r. Theta is the central angle of this sector which is 60 degrees in this case and r is the radius which is 7 meters. So in the next step we have written, since there are total 8 segments which are unshaded, we have multiplied length of one of the segments times 8. So 8 times 60 over 360 times 2 times pi is 22 over 7 times the radius is 7. Now here 60 divides 360 that is 61 times is 60 and 66 times is 360. Now 7 divides itself that is 7 1 times is 7 and 7 1 times is 7. So here we get 8 times 1 over 6 times 2 times 22 gives us 44. Now for the simplifying this, 44 and 6 or 8 and 6, they all go in the table of 2. So let me take 44 and 6. So 2, 3 times is 6 and 2, 22 times is 44. So 8 times 22 gives us 176 divided by 3. So 176 over 3 meters. So this is the length of the rope around the unshaded regions. So this is our answer. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you found this video useful, then check out this playlist where you'll find more examples of this kind. And if you're liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.